We are Hassan and Abbas from Dish Dash, and today we have Sam. Sam. Nice to be here, guys. Oh, Good thank you for you. coming. Thanks that you made it on time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, he was let me listen some music today, and I was wondering, how's the music scene here? What's going on? What Actually, do we have it's cultural here and stuff. It's uh, been going on for a couple of years now here in Saudi. This year especially we have a lot of venues in Saudi. One of the venues is this one. It's a new one. It's called Balad Social. It's in Jeddah. And we have a couple of other venues around the country. And of course the two main things which is the Balad Beast and Middle Beast. You see a lot of people getting more interested in music nowadays. A lot of upcoming DJs. A lot of good music. Like in the upcoming years you're going to see a lot of development here. That's very cool. I feel it already. Yeah, I think also we have a lot of uh, educated music yeah. lead that, that are like becoming very more educated into to the genres and stuff. Like before, all of this house Afro EDM was all techno. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now everybody when they go they to can more, tell. More yeah. they can tell. Okay, yes. this is Afro. This exactly. techno. It was only one thing before. You know. Now it's a yeah. couple of different things. That's a good it's sign. Time. Yes, a very good sign. We wanted to ask you something. Uh, so uh, the, the song. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go. Me and you oh, okay. asked oh, this from and before. That's so. why your brothers yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Ask. So I think the most question that is on our mind and a lot of people are asking about the song of Ya Albi by Hakim. Yeah. How did you actually came up that you wanted to remix it? Our camera guy told me like, you need to do something with this because he had it on a video and we heard it like a couple of times and it was like, oh yeah, oh, yeah it's cool, it's cool. Let's make like a more dance version out of it because i was inspired what adam was doing met uh, adam port was doing with amir diab and other artists like yeah. uh so I, I was when we played the tracks even in belgium the people went crazy because it's so musical it's so rhythmic and uh that's why i decided to do something our own and after three hours it was done wow. we sent it to a couple of guys they start playing it and the rest is history. That's what's nice about music like this. Yeah. Whatever you play, it, it's just nice. If whatever exactly. language it is, they just exactly. enjoy it. But yeah. sick one, man. Yeah. Really, we played it a million times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you stalked me on Instagram. Oh, <laughs> man. Like, like, look, <laughs> look what it's doing. It's how, look what's doing here. And you guys, you're going to bring out music soon? or this, uh, uh, this year, yes, we have a couple of releases we're working on. We have our next release will be in September on Mahul record, okay. which is one of the records of uh, Middle Beast. From here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, we're working on a couple of stuff. Obviously, hearing your uh, Aya LB remix yeah. is making us thinking about doing something. You should, you know, it should. So, yeah, yeah, we're, or, uh, or, or don't remix, but like a complete new track. With, yes, yes, that's like we're working. From here. We're we working have another track. Yeah, yeah. We play today. We're uh, gonna try to play it today. It's not yet finished, but today. we're gonna try to play it today. <laughs> so I think uh, Sam, to be honest, you've been busy a lot this year. Uh, can you tell us what is the most memorable set you had so far this year? Memorable moments, like yeah, I really liked last week because we had like uh, my record label, an event company is called Magnifique Records. Mm. Okay. Uh, Magnifique Music, and uh, we had our first showcase that we properly organized with extra sound, lights. Uh, and where was that? Production. It was in Antwerp. Okay. And the vibe was we played three hours and it was. Really gone. So then it's a sign. It's a really good party. 100%. And like um, something that I was dreaming about when I was little also happened this year. I played in Pasha in Ibiza. Nice. From watching YouTube videos from Subliminal, Eric Romero, yeah. Morillo. Wow. And stuff. I was, when I was small, I was like, I want to play there one day. Nice. And this year it happened. So congrats, man. Thank I think you. this year more is your come. year. Yeah, a little bit. Little. Yeah. I'm going to try to, to yeah. escalate the story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you guys? Where you Let uh, we have a lot of good things happening this this year. Uh, we had Ballad in the beginning of the year, which is nice. We yeah. had uh, the new venues like Beast House. Yeah. We had an all night long set, which is our first all night long in Saudi. I think uh, the memory, I think the unique ones that we did, I think also we had the residency in Ibiza. Yes. That was the, nice, but new. I think the all night long set that we did in Beast yeah. House was actually, like you said, we played like six hours oh, and it was done like that. And that's, that's obviously a, a sign. Yeah. Yes, so, you know, it was a great night. Are you going to do it again? Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%.
Like okay. to me, an all night long set, it's not better like instead of like an hour and a half or two hours, you can really yeah. uh, show the people what, what, you what, what it is because they're all listening to one hour and a half, two hours, one yeah, hour. Yeah. But every once in a while, I think if you do this, you just like do a refresh, you know. Exactly. Nice. Super. 100%. Nice. I hope to see you one day in Belgium. For uh, sure. And then you say, this was the best show. Oh, 100%. 100%. Oh, hopefully this year, maybe. Who knows? We, we can work, uh, work neighbors, out something. So I'm not too far away. No, no, yeah. exactly. You can come. You, you're going to see me. <laughs> I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> so, Sam, what is your favorite track so far this year? For me, it's a track that keeps coming back in my sets when I, when I need to elevate the people a little bit, when I feel I need to, to push a little bit. It's, uh, you probably know her, Mira. Of course, of course. Yeah. It's a remix that she did for the Scenarios Boys. The, I think it's called Flores. Oh yeah, and I mean this track is like, it's going somewhere, but you don't know what to expect. And the sound comes in, the low end is amazing. So for right. me, it's a track that I, when I feel, the crowd is a bit okay. I need to take them somewhere. I play this track, and the party is it changes right. the whole yeah, vibe yeah, of the yeah, place. Exactly. That's yeah. for me. Me is super nice. And for you guys, mm -hmm. you cannot choose the same. Eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, again, Honestly, just speaking, we need time yeah, to think yeah, about. Yeah. It. Honestly. This year, I think we had a lot of things. One of it is your track, actually. We played it a couple of times. We had a lot of memorable moments with that track. With which one? Uh, uh, Albi. I think I because be. for us, we're always playing our, you know, melodic sound, and not, not a lot of people expect us, you know, to, especially we're, we're Arabs, you know, when you play yes. an Arabic song, some people say, oh, wow. Some people say, oh, yeah. why? You I know? understand. I but understand. this track for us actually was uh, the perfect point where it changed the night, yeah. basically, you know? Nice. So I think, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Q, Play Pause, Freedom Music, and good luck to all the competitors in the competition, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace. I'll be a ho. <laughs> <laughs>